Welcome. Thanks for tuning in, and I'm glad to have you with us. I am Garrett Wolf, and today I would like to show you how simulation can increase both the safety of process plants and the efficiency of personnel. Finally, we will venture a brief look into a possible future of plant maintenance and operation. But first, let's get sporty. Are you familiar with esports? For example, soccer, only without a pitch, played in a virtual software environment. What started as a playful pastime is now professional competition. If you want to succeed in international tournaments, you have to train hard, several hours of team and individual training every day. There is no precise way to reach the professional level. Esportsmen often perform over 600 precise actions per minute with a mouse, keyboard or game controller. That's an incredible 10 actions per second. The fact that every move has to be perfect is also important in many other areas. Sometimes it is even vital for survival. Think of air traffic. That's why pilots not only undergo intensive education, they also have to prove their skills regularly in their professional lives. For decades, flight simulators have been an integral part of training and testing. Without exposing passengers to dangerous situations, standard situations such as takeoffs and landings, but also emergency situations can be trained here. A so-called operator training system, OTS for short, is based on the same principle. On the basis of a simulation model of the plant, the operating team can be trained in a safe environment. This gives the crew an understanding of how to operate a new system or their plant. As in a flight simulator, dangerous or infrequently occurring situations can be practiced, refreshed, and even solved using new methods. This creates routine, shortens the response time to abnormal plant conditions, and increases operational safety. But an OTS based on our Siemens simulation platform can do much more these days. Here's another analogy. In Formula One, racing teams use highly specialized simulators. With their help, the drivers train to find the optimal racing line on virtual but precisely simulated racetracks. In the simulator, the terms of physics can be safely explored. In the real race, Chicanes are then mastered correspondingly fault-free and as fast as is possible. Transferred to industry, this means the racetrack is in the process that specifies reaction paths and which runs within physical or thermodynamic limits. The vehicle is your plant, with which you can realize different driving or, better said, operation modes. In the simulation, you can work out and train the optimal racing line, that is, the best possible process in each case, without influencing real production. So let's keep in mind, the use of an OTS in the process industry leads to 1. More safety in dealing with the control system, the process, and the plant. At the same time, simulations can also be used to, two, increase the efficiency of operation and processes. This is consistent with the results of a recent representative scientific study on the use of simulation, which found, among other things, that Increasing safety and quality are the most important aspects for owner-operators, for both the process and manufacturing industry. At the same time, however, ensuring quality and time to market, especially in terms of cost efficiency, is one of the biggest challenges ahead. Simulations and their use along all life phases of a plant are considered one of the most relevant technological trends. Let's take a closer look at the possible applications and benefits of operator training systems in process plants. According to ARC studies, a good 42% of all unplanned shutdowns or slowdowns are attributable to the human factor. Around 2-6% to of production capacity is lost due to operator errors. An OTS provides sustainable training opportunities to counteract this. Using real operating images and realistic plant behavior, plant operators learn how to react correctly to exceptional situations or how to routinely master standard situations that are becoming increasingly rare, such as the startup or shutdown of production. With CMET, realistic operator training is possible even before new or modernized plants are commissioned. Thanks to training experience, the plant can then produce efficiently from the very first shift on. 
Repeated training in a safe environment ensures greater confidence in operation and promotes understanding of process interrelationships. This reduces downtime and helps to increase production and product quality. However, an operator training system is not limited to control room personnel. The integration of 3D models now enables such realistic views that virtual on-site training is possible. If, for example, a complete production line is stimulated, this not only speeds up commissioning, the simulation also enables the virtual pre-assessment of workstations with regard to operating in hazardous situations in subsequent production. Immersive training systems, ITS for short, are becoming increasingly important in the process industries. They allow the combined training of personnel in the control room and in the field. Complex situations such as pump changeover can be carried out virtually several times as collaborative training of operators and on-site personnel. By training such scenarios at Total France, our customer has confirmed that an ITS reduces human error and prevents associated production loss. In addition, ITS train their personnel with the right way to handle hazardous situations. So, our new customers are convinced of the benefits of simulation-based training, and you are now aware of the many advantages. But perhaps you are now asking yourself how much effort is required for such systems. Siemens offers various simulation tools that can be used for specific requirements along the entire plant life cycle. The simulation platform Cement integrates these individual simulation tools. This allows you to always reuse the simulation models once they have been created through integration, co-simulation, and data exchange. In addition to specific uses across the entire life cycle, our tools also allow the individual implementation of necessary simulation depth and model accuracy. As you can see, the consistency of the simulation from planning to virtual commissioning to operator and immersive training is given. The achieved reuse of the various components constitutes an efficient and cost-optimal approach. Now to conclude, imagine the following. A train maintenance technician walks through the plant. He receives current status messages and required documentation of the field devices or process objects around him via his digital device, displayed directly on the respective components. How much more efficient could this make operations? Augmented reality applications of this kind open up completely new perspectives in operation, as well as for maintenance and servicing measures. The prerequisite for this, however, is not only an optimal interaction of all systems, but also of all team players. And that means training, training, training. I will not keep you from what this effort has led to in the case of the esports mentioned at the beginning. In 2020, international esports generated more than a billion dollars in revenue for the first time. We have been developing operator training systems for decades. With every technological innovation, we tap further optimization potential and thus expand the benefits for our customers. So stay tuned.